Hello again, this is Milton City Councilman Matt Coons doing another Milton City Council recap. Again, you can follow me on at Matt Coons 59 on Twitter or my Facebook page, facebook.com slash Matt Coons GOV. Um, don't forget to hit subscribe on this YouTube channel. And again, these thoughts are my own. I don't speak on behalf of everybody on the council. Now, all that being said, let's get into it. First, we had a proclamation uh, to raise awareness for the Muscular Dystrophy Association. And if you're not aware of this, our fire department worked a lot of the Milton uh, intersections to collect money and donations from uh, you, the citizens of Milton, to raise money on behalf of the Muscular Dystrophy Association. And great news, they actually hit a record and hit $87,000 to help people suffering from muscular dystrophy or ALS. And uh, it was a huge, huge work on everybody's part in the city. And so thank you for those who contributed. Thank you to the fire department for working so well on that. And thank you for all of those who who are inspiring us as you go through your challenges. Um, I met a young man today who uh, just really wants to be the very first ever head NFL football coach for um, someone that, that goes through what he's going through. So um, definitely makes you realize what's important. So next thing we got to talk about too, uh, the city put out a really good um, communications with regards to fireworks in the city, of course, state law does hamper us some with what we can do. But I will say this, I think that a lot of people were more aware that horses have an issue with fireworks. And, you know, I think it wasn't as bad as it had been in the years past, as far as I'm concerned. Um, I haven't heard, a, I've heard from some people that were concerned about it, um, but not as many as what I heard the year prior. So good job by a lot of people working hard on that, especially for the Milton Equestrian Committee and our Milton Communications team for helping to put some of that information out there on social media. I think it made a big impact. Um, Great job by the Milton Cultural Arts Committee. They were a group created by the city, but they have grown to the point where they started their own 501c3 and they are separating from the city, which I think is a great thing because that gives them more flexibility to help with arts in the city of Milton. It's something that we need for our culture. They're gonna be um, working with the Milton Literary Festival. Um, they'll be working with Milton's Got Talent that they've uh, put together as well. They're already doing some good things. I'm very excited to see them become their own organization. They won't be as hampered by dealing with us as far as being a part of the city. Um, and so I think that's gonna be a very good thing for all of us as a city. So if you get a chance to help, the Milton Cultural Arts Committee, uh, which is now their own 501c3, feel free to reach out to them. Bill Purdy is the, uh, the president there, so uh, let me know if you want to reach to him. I'll find a way to get his contact information and get that to you. So, Hopewell and Hamby intersections, Hopewell and Thompson intersections in the works. Um, and also, too, we talked a little bit about the Birmingham Crossroads intersection. That, too, is in the works. Just so you know, the GDOT currently is slated to spend 100% of the funds for that, and so that is in process. That didn't show up on a report in the city of Milton tonight because it's not our funds that are doing that right now. That's slated to be GDOT, so that's where that comes in. Um, and finally, I did a... Um, uh, interview with a young man who's a life scout who's becoming an eagle and uh, I think that's just a great thing as an eagle scout myself it's so good to see kids doing that so again hit subscribe on that YouTube channel if you have any questions reach out to me but this is Matt Coons with the city of Milton and I appreciate all your support thanks